I'm going to try something new here on Everyday HDR. I'm going to try to do a video tutorial as opposed to the normal written tutorials that you're used to. I'm hoping this will be a little bit easier for you guys so that you can follow me along a little bit better. And it's also going to cut down some of my time as far as the production is concerned with doing these tutorials. The black and white tutorial took me upwards of 12 hours to complete from start to finish. So if I can cut my time down significantly, that'd be great, especially with a baby on the way. I'm not going to be doing too many lengthy tutorials that way with a newborn in my lap. So let's try this video tutorial thing out and see what you guys think. So today I'm in Adobe CS5, Photoshop CS5. And I'm going to show you how to do an action. An action is something that's pretty cool. If there's something that you commonly do in Photoshop and you find yourself doing it multiple times, wishing that there was just one button that you could press that would do it, well, now you have your chance. You can record anything you want in the actions and it'll do it in Photoshop. It's pretty cool. So today I'm going to show you how to make a vignette action. I know, I know. Vignettes are typical these days. People seem to think, oh, I have a crappy image. Let me put a vignette on it make it better. Well, guess what? I have a crappy image. I'm going to make a vignette on it and make it better. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Window and go to Actions. Now I drag this little Actions toolbar here over into my palette so that I can always go back to it really quickly at a later date so I don't have to go to window or press alt F9. So go into the little actions thing and now what we need to do is record a new action. So first of all we need to make that new action. That little guy right there is going to be what makes the new action. Now I'm going to rename this vignette. Pretty self-explanatory. I'll forget what it is if I don't. Now I'm going to press record. Everything that I do right now, Photoshop is going to record. So I want to make sure that I go to the right place and not put information that it doesn't need to be there. Because it does take a little bit of time to start the, the actions. So I'm going to go to filter. I'm going to go to lens correction. Custom. And I'm going to put a nice dark vignette on there. Press OK. And I have a vignette. Now, to stop this, because all I want to do is put a vignette on it. Press the stop button. Now it's recorded. So I'm going to pull up this image. One of my favorite images that I really haven't put out there too much, but I like it. And I'm going to put a vignette on this. And to do that, I'm going to click on the vignette, and I'm going to press play. All right. So there we go. I have a vignette. So now let's say I want to do a curves adjustment and a levels adjustment on this image. And I'm going to want to do that for the next 16, 16 images I pull in. I can make an action for that as well. So I'm going to go and put curves and levels. And I'm going to press record. So now I'm going to go down to my adjustment layers. I'm going to select curves. And I'm just going to play with that nice little S curve. Pull some lights back in there. Maybe pull in. There we go. And now I'm going to add levels. Let's make this a little bit more dingy and dark. Cool. So now I'm going to stop that. So now let's say I want to do that on this one. I go up to my curves adjustment and I press play. And it does my curves and my levels adjustment. Pretty cool, huh? So I'm hoping that help you get, helps you guys in the future. And uh, let's see if we can keep doing these video tutorials because that took me all of 3 minutes and 35 seconds, which probably would have taken me 3 hours and 35 minutes if I had done it written. 